Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 8th of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me, please see the link below and check out my testimonials. And also, if you'd like to ascend above the zodiac sign astrology and embrace more serious astrology, you can do so in a very affordable way by checking out my uh, reports. You can get 30% off a year's forecast and a character analysis combination. And again, please see the link below, all based on your time, date and place of birth. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 8th of March. Now this week begins with Mercury and Jupiter still very much in contact on Monday. Now they were much more closely aligned last week and there may have been something that unfolded that gave you a sense of uplift and hope, particularly around a home or emotional situation. But as we come into this new week, there's a glorious alliance of planets. From Thursday, Venus and Neptune are going to be side by side. They join up with the Sun. And by the time we get to the new moon, which occurs on Saturday, and it angles superbly well with your modern ruler of Pluto, a time of great transformations can be set in train. And part of the reason for that is House 5, in terms of your solar chart is activated by your sister water sign of Pisces. So this shared triplicity makes you feel very comfortable. Things can flow. Neptune is the planet of dreams. It can be the planet of illusions, as you probably know. But Venus in the fifth house is wonderful. This is about manifesting pleasure in all its different forms. If you have kids, you could really enjoy them over the next four weeks. If you'd like to meet a new partner, this can be a fantastic time for you. Now, COVID restrictions have made uh, connecting with people obviously more complex. Because of the digital side of life, there has still been the ability to do that. But if you did meet someone who really, really did seem to impact on you at a more spiritual level, which comes from the energies of Neptune and the sign of Pisces, I think it could be a tie that is really very, very positive. Now, if you're already in a love relationship and you're looking for your joys to come in different ways, think about something you've desired for a long time because the magic of the, of the planetary movements this week is quite, uh, quite profound. Also, Jupiter is, of course, the co-ruler or the co-regent of Pisces, and that's in a semi-sextile with Neptune for the whole of this week. And Jupiter's about growth, and it's in your sector of home family emotions so so much good stuff is coming in this week we do of course still have that very testing right angle between uranus in your sector of relating and saturn in your home emotional and family sector and perhaps there is one or two relationships in your situation where there are tensions not everything is going to necessarily be perfect life as you know just isn't like that but overwhelmingly this week as you uh, come into embracing the new moon gives you a marvelous plateau of opportunities to really think about what your heart's desire would like and if you really focus on it and really reach out into the universe to ask for those gifts. The next month can manifest them in a way which could absolutely thrill you. So it can be a time of great healing. And if, for example, you're in a romantic relationship that has been a bit bruised or bumping along the bottom, the forgiveness that can come from Neptune the generosity of spirit that can come from Jupiter and Venus, the greater and lesser benefits, and the power and majesty of the new moon in your fifth solar house, which is about those heart's desires, really gives you a potential bounce moment, and you should embrace it with all your might. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Please stay safe, and goodbye for now.